when when I entered mortuary, I saw Kevin lying on a table, Belinda on his on his side, and uh, Mona and uh, Connie were lying the other side. Four of them on the table. I could not believe my eyes, losing all my family at once. Ni melea kama ni kama ni kulea inaweza toa mtu kwa kwa mochari. Mama melea na mimi ni melea. Baba Mona was he was a son and a half. Not a son, a son and a half. That was his signature introduction of his videos. I'm talking about Kevin Oselu, also known as Baba Mona. Mimi ni Kingori Wangeshi, hapa tuko. Na heza sema pia, sasa hivi mtu as his scroll, Rit Martin Otek, tuzungomze na babake, Baba Mona, anaitua Mr. Oselu. Tuko hapa kwa familia yake. Mr. Oselu, how are you? I'm fine. Yeah. I can say I'm fine right now. Yes. Yes. And uh, we are very sorry for what happened. Uh, we are here to pass our condolences, myself and on behalf of Toko family. So uh, we are glad that you invited us to your house and you welcomed us uh, so that we can have uh, a few minutes to talk about what happened, how you're coping as a family and what plans you have. Uh, for this incident. We are trying to, to cope because I'm trying to hide from my family that um, I'm in pain. When I want to cry, I, I hide somewhere because they don't want to see me crying. Especially my daughter, uh, my daughter Ida, and Raila, they totally they don't want to see me crying, and they are they are not comfortable the way Raila went home and see his his mother the condition of his mother. So we are trying to cope, but it is so painful and difficult in my family to lose four of my family. Mostly the elder one. Mm -hmm. uh, Baba Mwana is my firstborn. Yes. Followed by Belinda. Mm -hmm. And uh, Consolata is the uh, fifth born. And Mwana is my is my granddaughter, mm -hmm. the first one. Yes. She used to call me Babu. So I'm now known as Babu Mona. Uh, I can see some, it is a bit confusion. Some, some call me Baba Mona, but I'm not Baba Mona, I'm mm -hmm. Babu Mona. Mm -hmm. That is the way Mona used to call me Babu. So I'm really, I'm really in a, a terrible pain. And I don't know what is going to happen in future because mama nyanya mona is not in a good condition uh, we hired uh, uh, somebody to support support her uh, counselor mm -hmm. after so, after the accident after the accident mm -hmm. The accident occurred when I was at home. Mm -hmm. I was waiting for them. Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, I think maybe I'm the last person to talk to them. Mm -hmm. Because 
I talk to them when they are in Naivasa first. Mm -hmm. Then after leaving Naikuru, then I call them again. And uh, later I call them when, when, when they, they are in, uh, where they got the accident. Mm -hmm. The place is called... Uh, Keep Kilion. Keep Kilion. So they were coming home. They were coming home. Mm -hmm. So I talked, I called uh, my, the number of my daughter Belinda and uh, Baba Mona is, is the one who received the call. He, he talked to me, Daddy, we are almost uh, arriving, we are in Keep Kilion. Mm -hmm. That is what he told me. So I was, uh, I didn't expect to talk to him because he was the one who who was driving. Mm -hmm. uh, so he was very happy when he, when, when, he, when he talked to me. So, uh, it is forcing me to, to, talk when, to talk to you when I received the news because I didn't want to talk about that thing. Mm -hmm. Because it's still clinking in my mind what I saw. Uh, what I saw on that day. We, we are very sorry. It was too painful. When, when I, when Mama called me and asked me whether they, are, they have arrived, uh -huh. and I told her that they have not arrived, and uh, and he told me, even I'm trying to call them, and there are nobody speaking the phone. Then I was shocked because uh, I was waiting for them, and they, are, they, they took long because from uh, Kipkilion to home, it is 30 minutes drive mm -hmm. or 45 minutes. Yes. So it took almost almost one hour. Mm -hmm. So when I heard that. And they're not picking up calls. They're not picking up. I called the number for Belinda. The, the phone was off. Then I decided to call the number of my daughter called Connie. Mm -hmm. When I called Connie first, the phone rang. Nobody was speaking. Then I called again. Then the phone was taken by the police. Mm -hmm. uh, when they picked the, 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 the phone, they ask, uh, I asked them, can I talk to, to the army? And uh, they told me that these people, they, they got an accident. Then ask him where we are uh, at Kipkilion. Then I decided to, to run. I used, I used the border border from Awasi to Moron. Mm -hmm. You wanted to get there as fast as, as possible. As fast as possible. So I used the border border. I arrived at uh, Muhoroni. Mm -hmm. But uh, the way the way the way the watchman break break the news to me, I could not believe I could not believe it. Mm -hmm. I went straight to the to the hospital side. Mm -hmm. Then the watchman told, told me that you should not come this side, go to the mortuary side. What? Then I asked, what? Go to the mortuary side. Are they, are, are, are they dead? Then the watchman told me, they, they, they are all dead. Four of them? Ah. Yes. I could not even I could not even go to the other side. So I was I was held by two two people. You could not stand. Yourself. I could not even stand. Mm -hmm. But at, at that time the the mortuary was full. So I thought these people maybe they are removing the body or they are bringing the other body. But they came for Baba Mona and uh, and Mona. Because it was almost everywhere, but with me, I was not aware. Mm -hmm. So the mortuary was full. 
Then I was not, the police refused for me not to sing them because I was helpless. Mm -hmm. Then we went to, to the police station. When I saw the car, I asked myself, this is the car who killed all my family. The car was in a very bad condition. Then we took, we took their luggages there. Then we went to the scene. I was helped by my my cousin called Jack Diga and uh, some of my brothers. We went to the scene. Then we came back to the mortuary. When, when I entered the mortuary, I saw Kevin lying on a table, Belinda on his, on his side, and uh, Mona and uh, Connie were lying the other side, four of them on the table. I could not believe my eyes, all my family lying on a table in a, a big room. They are almost full there. I ask myself, what have I done in this world? I wish I could have one alive can tell the story, what happened. I don't know what happened, whether it was tabast. I don't know what happened up to now. I could not even ask anybody. Losing all my family at once. So, Jack Kidiga took me home. I found home is full. People are crying. At that, at that time, mom, mama was not aware that uh, he lost the family, so... She wasn't at home? She was here in Nairobi. Okay. So, they decided to bring, bring her at home. So, she was being told that they, are, they got injury, they are not dead. But, breaking the news, to her, she was in a, in, a, in, a, in a car coming home. Then a passenger, the way I, uh, the way I was told, the pa a passenger was scrolling the phone. Then he saw Baba Mona a picture written, rest in peace Baba Mona. That is where Mama start crying from Nairobi up to home. All the passengers were, uh, they drive the, the car and with all passengers in my home because mm -hmm. she was not, they could not even leave her on the way. Mm -hmm. So with me, I, I saw them arriving but I didn't see anything else. Until, until later, I, I got myself uh, in a bed uh, in my house, so I was confused. I didn't know what, what was going on. Mm -hmm. So, it's okay. I'm, I'm telling the whole world to know that we are in a terrible pain, especially the remaining children. I don't know what is going to happen to this family because all of them are confused and they are trying to, they are, they are just crying that they might lose all their parents. We pray that that does not happen. Mm. And we are praying for the comfort of God to be with this family. Uh, but allow me to ask you, uh, how, how is your family? Like, 
uh, you said that you lost four of them, but the others that are remaining. How many children do you have, and such like things? I was, I was having eight children. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I remain with four. Mm -hmm. I remain with four, mm -hmm. so it's, it's a half half. Okay. And uh, I have another child which I'm supporting, like my, like one of my child. Because the, uh, her, pa her parents died, mm -hmm. so I'm the one took her when she was very small. She's now in Form 1, so I can say I remain with the, uh, five, five of them. Mm -hmm. mm. We totally understand it is very difficult to lose half of the family in a single day. Uh, but what kind of uh, a child was Baba Mona? Baba Mona. <laughs> and I say a child to you because you are his dad. Baba Mona was, uh, I can say he was a unique boy. Mm -hmm. He was a different uh, child from the, from the beginning. Mm -hmm. he, he loves me so much. Whatever, whatever, I want, I want to do, he was just near me. He was very close to me than his mother. Uh -huh. And uh, in his life, he didn't want anything to annoy me. Whatever, all, each and every day he has to call, he has to call me uh, to come and see how I'm coping. And, uh, he was having a lot of plan with me. Uh -huh. He was planning a lot of things with me. So I was very happy because he was a very intelligent boy. He was a very intelligent boy. But I was very flexible because I found Baba Mona is a very intelligent boy. I didn't want to be a parent that uh, a dictator. Uh -huh. uh, like other parents are dictators. I want you to do this. So yeah. I just give him humble time when I want to talk to him. I just asked him, I was, I was thinking of this, what do you think? No daddy, I think we can do it this way. Mm -hmm. So I just, I just do the way, the way he said. And uh, I was succeeding. Mm -hmm. uh, whether it's difficult, everything, kila kitu ni mwachia mungu, mwenyesi mungu, ilikuwa mpango yake. Ilikuwa mpango ya mungu because uh, kama sio mpango ya mungu, haige fanyika. Mm -hmm. Mungu ndi an, anajua wila mnipange, ndi anipatia haa watoto mm -hmm. na hindi ya mechukua. Kweli. Sasa, hata niki complain, wakati niliwapokea, nilifry. Na wakati amechukua, lazima nilie, lakini the end of the day lazima nifry. Mm -hmm. Because hindi ya mnipatia na hindi ya mechukua. Mm -hmm. Sasa, hata nikilea, Ni melea, kama ni kama ni kulea inaweza toa mtu kwa kwa mojari. Mm -hmm. Mama amelea na mimi ni melea. Mm. Usiku asubuhi tunalea but najaribu kuzuia watoto wasione we are we are very weak. Mm -hmm. eh, hivyo ndio nawaambia na na, na na watu tafadhali usionyeshe watoto ya kwamba you are very weak. Mm -hmm. Najaribu ku, kukopu lakini ni ngumu. Ngumu. Ni ngumu. Niki, niki kumbuka tu awa watoto wangu. Mm -hmm. All the time, niko na watu wengi sa hile, niko na watu wengi, najaribu ku, ku, kukua sahawa. Mm -hmm. Lakini, niki kumbuka tu sa ingini, nikipewa tu chakula, nikijaribu kuchupua, hata ugali niweke kwa mdomo. Narudisha tu hapo kwa, kwa sani alafu na wacha. Because, nikiangalia, nikifikiri, uh, Kevo is not there, Mona is not there, Belinda is not there, and Consolata is not there. Were they coming for an event because they were traveling as a family, the four of them? Were they coming for an event or what was happening uh, at, at home? Uh, his, grand, his grandfather called him some, in, in, was it in January of, uh, on in January that he wants to see Baba Mona at, at home. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, Baba Mona was was supposed to donate some things in 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 our school in that area of Millennium Millenni Primary, mm -hmm. and uh, Baba Mona uh, Mona was since Mona was born, he was uh, she was not she was she was n not able to go to to home. So so Mona was he was bringing Mona home to see our home because uh, uh, Baba Mona told Mona that uh, Babu built, uh, Babu was building a, ha a house. I wanted to go and see Bab Babu's house. Mm -hmm. So Mona was very happy to come home to see Babu and to come and see Babu's house. Mm -hmm. So they were, they were having a lot of things on the way. They were coming home. They went to go and see Nyanya and and uh, and uh, Babuya Baba Mona mm -hmm. and uh, for blessings huh? for blessings Baraka Baraka mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, they they were they were going to Kisumu to see Ken mm -hmm. and Ken was happy because Ken uh, Ken has a daughter age like Mona so they they were. De de they were going to have something like party in Ken's house because mm -hmm. Ken was a very close friend to Baba Mona. Mm -hmm. uh, Ken, Ken of TikTok. Mm -hmm. They are very, very close. So they were having a lot of activities on the way, yes. but it's not something uh, together oh. at once. Okay, okay. They were having a lot of, after this we're going to this, after this we're going to do this, after this we're going to do this. Mm -hmm. So and, and for how long had you planned that he will stay? He will, he will be with you at home. At home, mm -hmm. uh, I think around uh, uh, three days. Okay, three days. Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay. So now, uh, what what are the plans are, are right now? The plan right now. Since this thing is an, an, a national uh, morning, uh, we are planning to, to bury Baba Mona and Mona and Pony at home at Awazi on 18th. Mm -hmm. 18th of March. 18th of March. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the, the husband of Belinda, he was here, here at home. Uh, in this my house, uh, he was asking whether we can allow allow him to go and bury Belinda. And I said yes because you have been uh, you have been staying with the, with him, uh, with her. Uh, I ca I cannot stop you. So they were planning to bury Belinda on on fifteenth, mm -hmm. and then sixteenth we 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 do everything. On seventeenth we remove. Baba Mona and and Mona and uh, and Kone to bury them on 18th mm -hmm. at at Awazi. Mm -hmm. I would like to thank TikTok family for uh, for the support they have given to me and my family, the remaining family. Mm -hmm. The second, I would like to to thank Tuko for airing this thing to the whole world to know what what is happening in my family. Mm -hmm. uh, the the TikTok fa family they fa they facilitate my coming to Nairobi mm -hmm. because this thing happened when I'm, I was at home. Yes, they facilitate my coming to Nairobi because I was to come to see what is happening in Nairobi. Uh, uh, they decided that I should not use road. I should, I should use hair. Mm -hmm. So they, they booked the ticket. Then they took me from home to the airport in Kisumu. And uh, I arrived here. I was, I was taken to Kisumu by the TikTok family, Ken, uh, Leon, and Leia. 
when I arrived in Nairobi, I was I was received by Auka and uh, and uh, and others. Uh -huh. Yes, I actually wanted to ask, did you know that he was such a popular person online? No, no I didn't know. I didn't know because I have a group called Nikwara Mogi. Mm -hmm. They were posting the TikTok of Baba Mona. So I asked these people, do you know this is my son? They, they could not believe they it. They could not believe it. Mm. They, 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 some of them jokes, they say that I'm... I'm Imposer. Oh, because uh, you want to be associated with a yes, celebrity. Yes, yeah. uh, I wanted to uh, to associate with with uh, with, with Baba Mon. Mm -hmm. So they didn't know. Even some of them, uh, uh, the our official came from Nakuru to home to see whether it is true. Mm -hmm. I'm the father of Baba Mon. Mm -hmm. At home. I'm, I'm known as Baba Kevin. They so call me Baba Kevin at home because they know Kevin sometimes we go there. Mm -hmm. In Nairobi here, they know me uh, Baba Raila. Mm -hmm. In Nairobi, they call me Baba Raila. At home, they call me Baba, Baba Kevin. Mm -hmm. That is how... Uh, uh, but I didn't know that I have a very important boy Boy, I know, I knew when, when he's, he's normal. Mm -hmm. mm, I, did, I didn't know. Mm. To you, he was a son. He was a son and a half. Mm -hmm. Not a son, a son and a half. Mm. Was a son and a half. And uh, he used to joke to me that, Daddy, I'm the first person I will, uh, I will be the first person to book for you uh, uh, to board an aeroplane. Uh -huh. uh, and he was asking me, you want to go to Mombasa, or you want to go to Kisumu, or you want to come from Kisumu to Nairobi? No, I said, N uh, not yet, it, it will happen. It happened, unfortunately, it's when he had gone. So, so when... When TikTok people ask me that we are booking for you an airplane, so I ask myself, so you mean the dream of Baba Mona has come true? Mm -hmm. So that was my first time to board an airplane because of Baba Mona. Mm -hmm. Maybe he said that I love to board an airplane before he was buried. Mm -hmm. Mm. <sighs> it's quite a story and a half. At the moment, uh, the Tuku people have tried, <coughs> they, they are trying to, to support in donation, the whole world, and it is not enough. So I'm really, I'm still requesting, because I have I have the remaining because uh, Baba Mona was helping me in in school fees, and uh, I have uh, two of them in Form One, Ida in Form Two, Raila is in University Pwani University, and uh, I love to pay for them. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So my my names are Washington Junior Onyango, but uh, um, Popi popularly known as uh, Auka Jr. Well, uh, we are my friend Baba Mona. We've known each other on this TikTok platform. We've interacted with him in so many occasions. So I want to be very specific to my role during this time. I've been the person coordinating the entire TikTok team. I've been rallying them on my platform, on my daily lives to uh, fundraise towards uh, giving the departed souls are a befitting send-off. Uh, apart from that, I think Mzee has clarified, uh, we have got two pay bill numbers, so I just want to make it clear that even if you send on 891-300 or 830-004, they're still serving the same purpose towards giving a befitting send-off to the four souls. Uh, Number two, I just want to appreciate all those my 
colleagues on TikTok who have actually contributed something towards this. Uh, we really appreciate however little you sent to support this family during these hard times. We really appreciate. Okay. As you all know, it's so painful to lose one person. Now I'm trying to imagine losing four. How how tragic that is. Eh? Yeah. So. It's a difficult moment and uh, I urge all Kenyans, wherever they are, wherever they are watching this from, to continue praying for the family, that's very important. And uh, we are still having some financial deficits because uh, I'm sure if you could have money right now, you could even buy it next week. But now that we are, the budget is still not that good, uh, I still urge all Kenyans to continue supporting this family financially spiritually as well if you don't have something your prayer is very important during this hard time so that's all i can say and uh, may the soul of the departed people rest in eternal peace yeah thank you thank you now you can share your number with us if you don't mind and the pay bill uh, so that uh, anyone with support can channel it through either the pay bill or your number this is your camera oh. I would like to, to request uh, the public to assist me with anything you have, whether it is small or big, to support for me to, to bury uh, Baba Mona, called Kevin, Mona, uh, Belinda, and Consolata, Consolata King. Uh, anything you have to support this family. Uh, the pay bill is 891300. 891300. And my number is 0722 702815. You can, you can send me a message over Pole. Uh, you can pray with me, uh, you are welcome, not only financial but, uh, but, uh, but spiritual, even spiritual. And I would like to ask anybody, if you have a chance, join us at Awasi, Kano Plain, uh, uh, for, for a center of, of my family, in case you have a chance. And in case you don't have a chance, you pray for us wherever you are. Uh, God will, uh, will take, take your prayer. Financial support, I gave you my number 0722 702815. And your official name? My, my official name is Thomas Oselu Nyangweso. Mm -hmm. Thomas Thank Oselu Nyangweso. So you pray with us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And we pray for God's comfort and his peace may be upon yourself and your entire family and the remaining family will also remain united and uh, bound in love and peace of God. We, we are truly sorry mm -hmm. and we pray for God's comfort, Mze. Okay. Yes. Asante sana. Oden sana. Tuko family, you can imagine that when we lose one member, just one, even a child, it is usually a burden. So you can imagine what the family of Mze Nyangweso Oselu, uh, the father of Baba Mona, and the family are going through after losing four of their family members on a single day. It is such a huge burden, emotionally, financially, and even socially. And we pray that as a family, we'll support them. Ametupa pay bill na namba yake to us idea because this is really a difficult time. But as a family, we have to be there for one another. We thank you because we know that you'll come through for this family. My name is Kingori Wangeshi. Until next time, God bless you.